All right, what's going on, Facebook Live? Um, this is James Brush for another live video. This this week's Parsha is Parsha 4, which is Vaya Ra. He appeared. And this Parsha has to do with God appearing to uh, Abraham, Abraham um, while he's uh, with his wife. And Abraham spots um, God in the dis in the distance, and just just to note on that about God appearing to um, Abraham, the scripture says no man can see God's face and live, and so to <clears throat> give clear clarity on God appearing to Abraham, the only way we can see him is is um. Uh, in the pre-incarnate pre-incarnate Christ state due to the fact that the scripture is very clear on no man can see God's face and live that's just to um, give some clarity to, clarity to that this is 20 2020 and 2020 is clarity and so he appeared we have to really look at it <clears throat> More so as to how it, this applies to our our everyday um, real life, and more more importantly, how we utilize it in our everyday real life. And once again, I'm gonna put this circle circle up there. This is how much I think I know. I don't know everything. These videos they are. Based on what I believe, my opinion, my opinion on things, you don't have to um, agree with them. You don't have to adopt anything that I, I'm saying. And if you do disagree and you want to discuss it or if you hear something that you like in the video and you believe that it should be touched on a little more, leave leave a comment and um, we can always talk about things and we can always... <clears throat> We can always hash it out and I can always make another video on on other topics or on other key points that um, can be discussed that are good that are good uh, discussion points. So he appeared a lot of times when we are going through our life, we we learn to see God in the way that that we are are blessed when we. When we need something and things are just going the way that we want them to go and we seem to be prospering, it's it's easy it's easy to see God from from that standpoint. It's easy to say that, oh, this was God. He happened for me here, I needed this and this, this, that, that and and the third happened. And we don't really take the time out to see how God is even even there in our in our punishment. A lot of times we don't take time to pause and reflect and see all the wrong things that, that we've done, all the mistakes that we we've made. And so the things that we did that we knew were wrong, that we should have did differently, that we don't take time to really pause and reflect and think about. And when we're being punished or something bad happens to us, we don't we don't want to see God in as, as a part of part of our punishment. But what we have to realize is that the the punishment is is already built into the crime. And so when we do things out of order and we do things that are not decent and in order and things that we we know we we flat out are not supposed to do and then we're punished for it. We don't want to see God in, in those things. We want to see him when we're, when we're blessed. That is, <clears throat> that that's that's bad. That's a bad mentality to have, to only see God when things are good. Because that right there, it says that you're not really paying attention to your everyday real life. When, thing, when things go, go wrong, things go... Hey, haywire, we don't really take time to see that we've done a lot of things that should have got us hurt, harmed, killed, 
even had our lives t- taken away from us by doing stupid things that we know we shouldn't do. Scripture says, that which I should do, I do not do. And is that that I should do, I do not. So the things you shouldn't do, that's what you're doing. And the thing that you think that you should the thing that you should not do, that's what you're doing. And the things that you should do are the things that you're not doing. And so the life that you should be living to be healthy, prosperous, and build a foundation, leave a legacy behind, build up those around you, build up your community, being an actual citizen is not the things that we're doing. And so via Ra, he appeared. We also have to look at how God uses us to appear in other people's lives. And so one of the key things that I've said in in a few of my videos, and I want to keep making mention of it, is that you are the only Bible that somebody will ever know. And so the only way somebody will really know, um, build a relationship with God, is based on how they see you live. And so you as a person, you want to be the best person that you you can possibly be. You want to be you. You don't want to be anybody else. You don't want to put on this facade. You don't want to be a fake person um, in in, in front of people and putting on a front. What the Bible calls that is uh, sheep and um, wolves and sheep clothing. You don't want to be that kind of a person because somebody's watching your life. They're definitely learning what to do, what not to do. And for people that do believe in God, they are learning about God from how you live. So we have to be careful about what we do, what we say, where we go, when we go, where we go, and the timing. The timing is everything. Because when you show up or you go anywhere, you do something, everything changes the moment you get there. Why? Because when you come, you may bring a different, a different, different energy, different vibe, different spirit. It's not to say that it's bad. It's just different. And so things change once you, once you show up. And so depending on the vibe, the energy that's already there is going to depend on if your presence is a good thing or if your presence is a bad thing. And so sometimes you representing God in somebody else's life, it's not always good for you to show show up and be be in certain places at, cer- at certain times. And so the only way some people can actually be themselves or be a, be- be a better version of themselves is when you're not around. And so you don't want to, you don't want to be somewhere all the time, especially when you know you have that kind of influence on other people's other people's lives, you want people to be real people and not put on a fake, not put on a, on a front because more importantly than anything in this 2020 season, I really believe that we should all come out of this um, being who we are and stepping into our roles. I believe that 2021 is really going to be filled with um, people really taking up their mantles, stepping into their, their roles and being who, they, who they're supposed to be and not being these fake, uh, per, pervasive uh, people because we li- live in a wicked and perverse generation. And so with that being said, we have to really take a, a good analysis of our lives and look at how God has appeared has appeared to us in Stand on what what we believe in, because at the, at the end of the day, our our testimony is our testimony, and that is what that is what says to us that God is real and can't nobody take take that away from us. And so, be careful about how you live your life, what you do, what you say, when you say it, and how you say it, because you can say the right things, but if you say it at the wrong time. It's as if you said the wrong thing. And you can say the wrong thing, but if you say the wrong thing at the at the right time, it's as if you said the, the right thing. <clears throat> and so the Bible says that righteousness is nothing, unrighteousness is nothing. And so 
we have to learn to be able to see God in the in the in those moments, in the moments where it seems like everything is downhill and everything is downtrodden. You have to be able to see God in the midst of even even in the midst of your, your punishment, because he he appears in the good times and in the bad times. Because this life that that we're living, it's not all green grass and, and roses. So we have to take the good with the bad, and we have to learn how to be still and how to be quiet in those in those down times. Because it's in those down times that we actually have the best opportunity to analyze and see where we've made mistakes, see where we've been consistent. And those are our best times to actually um, learn for real and mature and, and grow. And so the people that are already taking that self inventory, that are already taking that downtime to, to grow, to see God in their everyday life and to Take the time to understand that you're somebody, you're somebody else's uh, role model. And so, for those of you that have children, um, especially, you play the biggest role in in your child's life. Um, to your child, you you are going to present to them either a good or a bad image of God. And they're gonna. Everyone's gonna have to make that choice of whether they believe in God or not. And so your life, somebody's watching it. Like I said, so we just have to be mindful because the our the circle we surround ourselves with, the people that are a part of our lives, um, even the people that you talk to on a regular basis, the ones that you don't talk to on a regular ba- regular basis you still are a role model in in somebody's life and people are definitely watching you. People are definitely um, looking to see if you're really about what you say you're about. If you really do believe in God and how you live your life, you're going to be judged, judged based on that. One thing I would say is um, be mindful about how you judge people that say they serve, um, say they're serving God because a lot of us didn't grow up um, with a good foundation of who God is, um, who God is, what God is, and how to actually how to actually serve God. And so, knowing that we didn't really grow up with that kind of a foundation, and so you have to realize that there's going to be a lot of trial and error in somebody's life. That is just finding out about about the um, about the truth. Let's see. There's a comment here. I'm trying with everything, but that devilish <laughs> mf on my back keep keep coming back. Um, to address that uh, statement, um, Leah is <clears throat> one. My suggestion is. Take the time to give yourself a good self inventory and one, I would say stand on your two feet, stand firm. And you have to remember that a lot of times the the devil isn't to blame for the things that we necessarily uh, go go through. One of the hardest things that um, I think that we as grown-ups with children um, go, uh, go through is happen- happening to sit down and say that the things that are happening or the things that have happened to me, whether they're good or bad, they're, they're my fault. Um, I would say take some quiet time to do an actual good self-inventory and be honest with yourself about things you could have done better, things you didn't do right, and see where those attacks are coming from. Because the thing is, is the devil's only one person, so he can't be in 90 places at one time. So if somebody say, oh, the devil's attacking me. Okay, well, if the devil's attacking you over in Massachusetts, 
Um, the devil's definitely not attacking 50 people over in Colorado, West Virginia, and blah, blah, blah. He's one person. There are many spirits that oppose the will of God. And like I said, we have to take a good look at our lives in, 20, in 2020. And for me personally, admitting that a lot of things that I've been through, a lot of things that I've gone through are my fault. Me making decisions instead of um, asking for guidance when I should have asked for help. Um, being too afraid of, of people's um, criticism at times. And so I shied, I shied away from asking for help at times. And so... Leah, I um, Leah, I hope that helps you. Uh, um, hope that answers your 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 statement. And you ha also have to remember that every time you you get over one one hump and you move forward, those trials tribulations they're always gonna come to try to knock you back down to wh where you were. And so standing on your own too and stand, standing in that ring and fighting, the the best thing I can tell you in all honesty is that it's not about how many times the um the enemy the enemy comes comes back. It's about how many it's about how long are you willing to stay in the ring and and endure. Because the scripture says the race is not given to the swift nor Neither the battle given to the strong, but to he that endures to the end. So, Leah, um, in all honesty, you're not losing. You're actually winning, what whether you actually know that or not. Because as long as you're still alive and breathing, um, as long as you are still taking care of your child, taking care of your family, doing what you have to do, and you're making making things work to the best of your abilities, you're winning. So don't worry about if the if the enemy is coming back or every time you try to do something good is being opposed because the scripture says when I would do good, evil is always present. You have to remember every time you seek to do good, there's always something that's looking to destroy it. And I've been watching your face, Facebook posts. I, I see um, the things, things that you've been through and you've come quite a long way from the Lee I knew from high school. You're a completely different person. Um, you have lots of potential. You are very capable of doing many great, great things for yourself. Just know that those attacks are, are coming. And this is not even just towards the leaders for anybody. Those attacks are coming. Trials, tribulations, they're definitely coming. But stay in the ring. And that that's that's when we see that's when we see God God the most. When we're in the ring and we're enduring and we're doing and we're doing what, what is right. You have to remember that life is going to go on whether something good or something bad happens. You have to you have to muscle up and, and endure. That's that's what this life is re really all about and enduring it until the end, because this life for for us, this life is hell. It, it, it truly is. And especially to be black or be a minority in, in this time with all this nonsense and all this craziness that's going on. Yeah, this life is definitely hell. And people, uh, Black Lives Matter movements, all these things going on, all these, all these movements and all this, all these killings, shootings, murders, these, all these unresolved ca cases. There's lots, lots going, lots going on all the time. The question is, is are you going to give up or are you going to stay in the ring and keep fighting? As long as you stay in the ring and you keep going, I'm telling you, you win. And if you stay in the ring and you keep following God the way that you, you know to and you stick to your guns, he will appear and he will give you clarity and give you instructions, especially in this time, 2020 is... The best time to be to be praying. Why? Twenty twenty clear. Twenty twenty is clear vision. You should know at this point in your life where what you want to be, where you want to go, 
and how how you want to get there. And you should definitely have a plan for your life in tw- in 2020. And I can guarantee you, if you at least have a plan, you give God something to bless. He you, he has something to work with because <clears throat> you now have a focal point and you are moving in in a dire- in a direction. And so a plan beats no plan every time. And um, one of my quotes is, "I'm built for this." You're built for the for the for the life that you're, you're meant to live. So don't let anybody just knock you down on the ground. Stand up, fight for what you believe in, and and you need to do what what you have to do. And and one of the other things I actually um I want to uh, address address in this video and and I might, I might have put it out there in another video, but I want to say it again. This, uh, the whole thing of <clears throat> this, uh, if, if I was the, if I were you statement, um, I don't agree. I don't agree with that. And I believe I did say it in, in another video, but I don't, I don't agree with that because of the fact that when you say, if I was you, what you're saying is you're that person. So if I was you, you can't make a different decision if you were that person because you're that person with their thought process, their mindset in that moment. You're going to do the same thing that they're doing. So if you say that, if that was me in the situation, this is this is probably what I would have done. That makes more sense. But to be somebody but to be that person in their shoes, you're going to make the same exact decision and you're going to make the same exact mistake if you're that person. If you're putting yourself, if you're saying that is, if you were in that situation, you yourself, you would do something different. That's more that's more believable. That's more honest. Plans never go in the right direction. Well, got me, myself, and I. See... Yeah, that's, um, see, that's, that's part, that's one of the, uh, one of the, um, keys to having a plan is, are you going to stick with it when, even if it doesn't go in, in, in the right direction? Because a lot of times what we're being tested on is, are we going to stick with the plan whether things go the way that we want them to or 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 not and so that that's just one of the um that's one of the key things that we have to um we we have to remember that when things don't go the way that we want them to go you still have to stay in the ring and you still have to be able to to fight. And so just keep keep that in mind when when things things go crazy, things get sidetracked. And that's one of the uh biggest things about um endurance. When things don't go as planned, things hit uh hit the fan so to say or life knocks you down have to be able to to stay stay in stay in the ring have to be able to endure have to be able to fight you have to be able to push back you have to know how to push back and that's really what what um what what prayer is all about prayer prayer is about understanding the right now situ, situation and praying that you have clarity on what's to come and what to do when those when those moments when those moments pop up and that is 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 tough because at times you, you feel like you don't you don't have the have the will to pray and the bible says pray without ceasing so a lot of times what we don't understand is that 
the conversations or the things that we see playing out out in our, our minds, playing out in our heads, that's prayer. It's prayer because when you see those things happening in your mind, you're like, I hope this doesn't happen. I, I'm praying that this doesn't go like this. I'm praying that this stays the way the way it's supposed to. I'm praying that this doesn't get get sidetracked because if this happens and I'm going to be like this and I don't want to be like this, I'm not trying to go through this. So most of the time we don't even understand that we're constantly, constantly praying and prayer and that kind of prayer that needs to become more of a conscious thing, not a subconscious thing. And I know it seems like I'm off topic of Vaira, um, he appeared, but that's also how God uh, uh, appears to us. In, in our in our thought thought process, we have to begin um, our thought process with what are we supposed to be doing? How are we supposed to be doing it? Where do I need to be? Um, when do I need when do I need to be there? And we need to start living our lives on purpose and not living living our lives based on how somebody else think that we should live, how somebody else say that we should live because. The only way you're gonna know, the only way you're gonna know where you're you're supposed to be, is when you get there. And when you get there, you will know. But you have to stick with the plan, no matter what what happens. Like for me, I uh, recently just went through a whole ro- uh, roller coaster ride um leaving leaving my 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 last job and it was rough um ups and ups and downs um lots of emotions sparks flying um backlash from from, from my wife and all, all of those all of those things all of that happened At the end of the day i had to remember that my faith is in is is in God is in what what I what I believe in. And so despite the situation, I have to trust that the that God is the same today, yesterday, and forever evermore. And that has to be true and it has to be a real thing because in the times of, of uncertainty, you have to remember that that's where that's where the trust really comes in when it seems like Nothing's happening when it seems like nothing's really really moving. That's that's actually when you're you're building up your your biggest faith, so, so to say. And so that's that's where God is really appearing to us in the in the times where it seems like nothing's going on and there's nothing nothing else that you can do. There are always there's always something you can do. Pray for real. Take an anal- take take time to analyze yourself. And even in the midst of those frustrating frustration area, those frustrating times, you still have to have clarity and you still have to maintain maintain the vision. Because God is going to going to appear in your life and in the situation. You just have to endure. You have to have to ride it out and trust that everything is going to be all right. Um, but I'm not going to stay on here long. I'm going to, um, in this video, I do have uh, work, in the, work in the morning. So like, share, comment, um, anything in here that you think that needs to be talked about a little bit more. Um, any topics that you think should be should be talked about. Put it in the comments and we'll see what happens and I can uh I'll make a video on it. But that's it for me. I'm gonna end this live video. Shalom everyone.